as Blue approaches her first birthday and the crazy, self-obsessed, high-energy madness is calming down a bit, I wanted to speed up the process of her focusing on me and my commands. Just to be clear, I'm not seeking to have Blue behave as a protection or a performance dog, but she needs to be responsive to commands and behave in a way that keeps her safe and happy and ensure that she's not a nuisance to other people or animals. Fortunately, she's highly food-driven and relishes training and human interaction. The first little exercise involves tossing treats on the floor at random and as soon as she has snaffled it up and looks back at me, she gets a yes as a marker and I throw down another treat at random. So it's a bit like I'm a free food dispenser and all she has to do is focus on me for another treat. The second exercise is a variation on the first, but this time I drop the food between my feet so that her focus on me to request the next treat is much closer and in a relatively small volume of space. I again say yes as a marker to confirm her response is good. I'm hoping this will help her when there are lots of distractions to block out anything but the food at my feet and the focus on me to deliver another treat. Where is it? I've no illusions that we need to do this many times to embed the reflex and muscle memory before it can compete with the distractions of other dogs or cats or logging trucks. The third exercise is to teach her to be still and in control by feeding her treats slowly. I gently move the food towards her and pause with it quite close and if she continues to be still and calm I give her the yes marker followed by the kibble. Blue got this exercise quite quickly and I reckon it'd be useful to just bring her excitement levels right down when she gets too aroused. The fourth exercise involves waiting for Blue to look at me, at which point I give her a yes marker and move to the left to put down the treat. I then go back to the central position and wait again for her to focus on me, but this time I place the treat on the right and I return to the central position. This process is then repeated, but sometimes feeding twice on either side to break the expectation. For the fifth exercise, I've been continuing with the close command and rewarding her as she sticks to my left side as we're walking along. And finally, I've been working on recall again and again, and I'm still only practicing this here command when she checks in as it has a higher chance of success. As always, I use yes as a marker and give her a treat. It's all good.